you're going to see some different styles here. Big time styles. A whole bunch of pace there, oh, and yeah. it finally goes out. That's now, how the game opens up. Enrique and Wesley came up from the winner's bracket. They played him earlier and beat him in two. So, But this is all new ball game as we saw last, last match. The sun is set. The temperature is cool. These guys are going to be a lot more vocal as yes. well than our previous match. they've had match. a good rest period. Yes, they have. And Enrique's been here before. They do the stack also. Such a long press, rest right. period, in fact, that Chris Miller has actually changed his shirt since before. And it was good. <laughs> and uh, Miller tried to call that it was out and it stayed in. <laughs> Correcting. It's good. Well, a couple things going on out here. Matt Staub over there. It's his first final. His dad won it last year. They had to play earlier for the, for the bronze medal. They beat him. So we got a little passing of the torch. But I would imagine that dad will be back next year. Chris, he's one of the most emotional players out here. And he loves the hard game. West Wesley, with the error a, there. Yeah, he's a young guy. He's just starting. He came on the game two year, year ago, two years ago. And he's just blossomed. And Enrique's been here for almost every year in the final. He plays with different players every time. Representing his Oregon State Beavers. Oh, yeah. That one's a little too far, though. Yeah. Now, Enrique's from Oregon area, and so is Wesley. And, uh, you know, Enrique plays with both hands. He's one of the only players out here that plays with both hands. And he's got a wide... You know, that one's out again. They'll get the side out, though. That's correct. It's just like all of them. They just got to get warmed up and get the chitters out of their system. They like a fast pace game, and the referee controls that pace all the time. These guys, obviously, with fresh legs, too. You mentioned the long break that they had thanks oh, to yeah. that tiebreaker senior open before this one. It's vital to have fresh legs and doubles. Soft touch. And again, the ball goes airborne, and it was out. Enrique got his paddle out of the way, so he didn't tip it. Nope. There's the first point of the day for the left guys. And these guys all know each other. They've played each other many times, and they'll play more times this week. Because Enrique, both Enrique and Wesley, play the single, so does Chris. Under yeah. Wes's jump. Yep. Nice point there. These guys come to play. Look at them. They're pumped. But don't give it. These guys just, they'll get going. They're going Close right on. on the score announcement. They're not wasting any time. Nope. They like a fast pace. And you can just sense, you, you can sense just <laughs> the tense. And it's just really focused pickleball right now. Everyone oh, yeah. is all eyes are on this match. Oh yeah, this is the, this is a big one. It falls silent. The only thing you can hear are the the balls contacting the paddles on outside courts. That's and, right. And these guys, fast. they're supportive fast. teams. It goes fast. They like a fast pace. They do not want to be waiting on the referee. See, Chris is the, go to the second serve. Chris is the king of the step back and come hard. He doesn't come all the way to the front line. What he does is he steps back, and he can take that soft shot or a hard shot right off that same. See how he steps back? So he's that's his pattern. As you can see. If Just they, a lot they, of patience right now between oh yeah. guys who have the power to let it go. And see? Yep. He thought it was going to go out. They get in a zone in their eyes and their mind, and somebody puts an off-speed shot on it. Never one of these guys has the power to turn one over oh, on a moment's oh, notice. On but a second's notice, yeah. They can change the speed. But they opt to just stay patient, keep things simple and yep. low at the net. You saw Enrique change hands there. Sticks with the forehand on the right. See what I he told gets you, handcuffed Chris is, by the right, and it didn't get over. But you see, Chris is the king of that step back. Mm -hmm. And it, it comes at him hard, and if they're ready for it, it comes right back, and he's out of position. But it's a great, it works almost all the time for him. Not enough on that touch from Staub. Right. A <laughs> lot, of, lot of pushing along, a lot of pumping each other up, helping each other out.
Oh, another oh. unforced error by Miller. Yep. I've seen Chris be so hot that he can't miss a shot, and I've also seen where he couldn't make a shot. Obviously, today he's been right on. They handled their bronze medal match in two games as well. Jumped out to huge leads early and really put it away before it ever started. There's no lead in this in this level. That's right. Footfall against. He stepped on the foot, and he, he stepped on the line, and he came back, and he didn't ground the second foot. And he hit it out of the air. Chris wanted that one. He wanted to tell Matt to get out of the way. I know it's early, but not much. Uh, the tape is not as forgiving with these guys so far. No. They don't put the spin the last guys did. There's oh. And right on cue, <laughs> there's a smash yeah. winner for Matt. Now, Enrique, he's got a tremendous wingspan, and he can cover a lot. See, they come back. Size-wise, these guys are some of the, the bigger ones in the tournament. Here we go. Chaos here at the net. <laughs> oh, and touched at the edge. See? What a rally. <laughs> now, you get in that kind of a contest, you got a 50-50 chance of winning, and you got a 50-50 chance of losing. It's not a high-percentage battle. You know, but it makes you feel good. It gets the adrenaline going, it that's does. for certain. Included the fans that have stuck around. Oh, yeah. Starting to get a little cooler here in the west side of Phoenix and Buckeye. That one's oh. a little far right from did west. Did you see the shot he did? He did a, he spun it and brought the paddle up over the ball and put overspin on it. Huge skill shot. Ah, the youth. They're so quick. Too far, and you can hear the teammates identifying the but, eye for Mills. When you have that kind of speed to get out of the way, you listen to your teammates. you got to trust them. That one was out, and there's okay. the call. But again, they've got to win the two out of three, and then the, and then the tiebreaker. They are coming from the loser's bracket. That's right. Chris and uh, Matt are coming from, they met earlier, and Wes and Enrique beat them in two. Handcuffed yep. Chris Handcuffing. there. Yep, he did. He gave him the stink eye. <laughs> it was a great shot, though. Still early here in the first game. Enrique and Wes were trying to work a comeback here. Oh, there's a Off the top out. of the tape. Two. Playing on. Not enough. Oh. Switch service. But you see, now. they don't think about that last shot. They move right on. So that's the difference. See, none of them do. Chris maybe once in a while. Not enough again. Side out goes back to Chris and Matt. Well, they're all business. They're staring down that ball. Wesley with a, a backhand. There's another forehand from Enrique with the right hand. He's sticking with it, though. The right hand still moving with him. See, they're keeping him back. Nothing going there. Oh. Try to get the short right off up, but not saw enough. saw Matt coming across. They got in a rhythm. The other team has just returned the ball. Matt kind of snuck across. The he snuck there. across, yeah. A good start right now for the guys who mm -hmm. really need need to make a statement in this first game. They call out. So they're talking. A great start right now for Matt and Chris. Enrique, yeah. just enough. Wesley. But they're, you know... Look at the speed there, just to get over the foot movement. Oh, big oh, error by Chris. he wants that one back. He set himself up for everything on that one. They had it. the game plan executed perfectly. Yep. They sure did. They split them and then brought them. Oh, 
They're so intense, they don't even really know what to score. What a recovery by Enrique to keep this one alive. They're still going with a frenzy, but it's out. Wow. Side out. Let me tell you something. With these guys, the linesmen got to be on their toes. Because if they're not, it's going to be bad. This pickleball is moving at a, a bit faster pace than it was in the previous oh, gold yeah. medal match. Uh, they're talking. It's just... Another touch, Change Wesley the, the lefty. Another one off the tape, they keep it alive. Enrique oh, can't almost. recover fast enough. Switch I've servers. Been, I've been watching Matt all day today. He's got great hands, great direction. He can move that ball to whatever place he wants. Very intense. Another unforced error. Side out comes back Those to Matt and change. Chris. Leading 8-3 on the first serve. They have a real chance to try to extend their lead as far as they can in this first game. What a recovery by Chris. Rally still alive. Now they're slowing pace down. Just like that, they pick it back up. Oh, boy. Here we go, folks. That stayed in. What a winner by wow. Enrique. I, I couldn't say anything. It was just going so good. Buckle up. Oh. Well, one fan didn't that's like Enri it. That's Enrique's brand new son. He's got a four and a half. He's got a four and a half old baby out there. Did you hear the babies <laughs> say something about that last point? Came right there on I, I saw Enrique's the baby chest before to allow it. But second serve here. You have fans of all ages here. Man, these frenzies are just something else. Oh. Wow. Wow. Do you know how hard it is for us to sit here and to watch it? Our heads are going like a... It is very hard for that. Just got to see it slow. That's it. Slow the game down. That's what they're doing right now. A huge point there. They're in game point. Wesley and Enrique looking for the side out. But First it game. is out. Game one goes to Chris and Matt. Oh, yeah. They come in and do their job quickly as they'll have to force a tiebreaker later on. But a good first game. We'll take a, take a moment here in the men's open division gold medal matchup. Stay with us in the National Six. Pickleball is one of the fastest growing sports in the world, and the USA Pickleball Association is proud to promote that growth and development on a local, national, and international level. The association will continue to provide the infrastructure for the development of the sport through promulgation of official rules, sponsoring and sanctioning tournaments and clinics, ranking players, communicating with its members, and the training of all levels of players. For more information, log on to www.usapa.org. Back here for the second game, a good first win for Chris and Matt. Now, if they win this one, they'll immediately go into the tiebreaker. Now, what does Enrique and Wes no, have to do correct. to avoid Sorry. that? What, what, no, Enrique and Chris, they're going to get their game. How they beat them earlier in the day, they're going to come right back. They controlled the pace of that first game, if you'll notice that. It didn't last but about 10 minutes, maybe 15 at the most. So they're going to control the pace a little bit more. And Enrique's going to get more involved. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't like to lose that first game. Here we go. Second game underway in the men's open division gold medal match. I can almost tell you, Enrique said, do a little bit more down the middle. They're going cross court passing now. They find Enrique. He just switches it back again. Matt was having none of it. Now they're in a frenzy. Oh. That one goes wide. First point of the second, second game goes to Matt and Chris. Right now, it looks like the momentum is in Chris and Matt's favor. These guys, they're just going at such a fast pace. They're keeping things simple right now. That's it. You see? And it's out. What a leave there That's by right. Chris. Almost matrixing out of the That's way. That's right. Yes. They are coming out strong. Before the match, Chris gave you a, a look of encouragement after you had asked, wow, what a frenzy there, another kill. Yeah. But before the match, 
Chris, you had asked Chris, like, have the first match go, and it was only how far did it go? Did it go two or three? He yep. said, this one will go three. Well, what he told me, when I was here Sunday, I said, who do you think, Chris? And he says, me and Matt. He says, you got to understand that. And I, so he's coming out with a lot of emotion. I told you earlier that nobody plays with as much emotion as Chris does. You know? Finally, Enrique you know, and West enforced the side out, but that's right. they've kind of handicapped themselves down three after the first serve in the but, second game. But at this level, these guys can make up three points in a blink of an eye. Look how the pace of this game is. Enrique with some strong oh. forehands, but couldn't get the second one over. Again, go back to what Chris's bread and butter shot is. He does the step back. And you never know how he's coming off. Is there a weakness to the step back that Wes and Enrique can exploit? What do you do? He was in the wrong receiving end. He was in the wrong court, so they gave up a point. It's 1-3. See? A little bit of a gift, but they'll take it. Let's get oh, yeah. on the board. And the referee caught that very nice. First thing he did is he called foot a fault. These guys just letting it hit at the last moment possible. Well, they're trying it's really to, trying to survive. Yet. They're trying to psych the other guys out. Here we go again. Line drives back and forth. Look at and Matt's we just go back speed. to what we were doing. Oh, look at Matt's hand speed. The finesse, it the just patience. Is. It's one heck of a rally right now. Who's going to get impatient? Oh. There it is. A you nice know, shot. At this level, Matt. what the noise is, it's pop, 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 pop. They'll go 20, 30 shots for a rally. It's switching from semi automatic to automatic. Correct. Got Split him at his feet. Got him at his feet. Great shot. It was too close for a short hop and not enough reaction time to step back. Look at, look at the intensity. The game's picking up intensity. Not enough, mate. Right, two breaks and they get the side out. Okay. Now it's 1-1-1-3. One, 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 that was a big win for this Henry Kane West. In a very good defensive mode. Wesley now. Nice backhand down the far sideline. The line drives really on almost all of those type plays. Wes and it's gone to Chris and Matt. And Wes is leaving his feet a little too much. Almost like a tennis he's, style. But he's so quick. I don't think they're picking on any one person. You know what I'm saying? They're just forcing the mistake to happen. Forcing the patience to snap. Oh, and that one was step caught. Back to the step back didn't work for him that time. But he has that step back more than anybody else. If the ball's too low below the net, they'll go in the net easier. Look at that change of... Look at this. Everybody says, oh, that's not much of a game. It takes a lot to do that. And he let it go, but... It was in. What a shot. Yep, changed up the, you know, they got so zoned on that tank that he just popped it over the top. Now we got a tie game. Yep. In game two, game one went to Matt and Chris. Yep. Wes and Enrique, they were down 3-0, but they've come right back. Yeah, like yeah. you said, going to be gone in the blink of an eye. And for, and for guys with such power and a lot of speed, it's a lot of fun to watch the finesse game. Oh, it is, because it's all strategies. It's Pick almost, the pressure is almost mounting on who's going to be the one to send it over. Right. At this level, pickleball is all strategy. It's not pow It's not overpowering. I mean, you do it, but they can all get it back. So the strategies are very, you really have a lot of strategies. Most people don't understand that. When they first start the game, they think they just hit the ball over the net. Well, here there's a lot of strategies going out there. It doesn't look like it right now, but it is. Timeout called. Timeout. Right now it's Wes and Enrique. They have their first lead of the match, but we'll take a moment here during the timeout. Stay with us. It's the men's open gold medal match in the National Six. 
All right, back here from the timeouts. Right now, it's Enrique and Wesley leading 4-3, but the service is on the other side. It'll be Chris starting things off. 3-4-1, up ahead. Here. Good. Let's see if the, if the timeout would give momentum. Which team? There's the point, tied up again. You will see a momentum shift after each timeout. It's just been traditional. They either calm down, and they just start using their skill levels and the emotion. A small change of pace. Here we go again. Yeah, yep. They've exploited that I see right what side. They're, doing. they're trying to hit. They want Chris to step back and hit that hard shot because they have confidence in their return off the hard shot. You see what they're doing? See how they're taking Chris deep on that line? And really see Matt taking over when he takes the step back on anything short. Okay. Good sequence there. Forces oh. Enrique to leave his post. Now it's a battle between Chris and Leslie. That. Matt, a soft touch, and Enrique crosses it. See, Enrique does everything with a short hop. Oh, they both went for it. Oh, yeah. Miscommunication, but that Chris. happens. Chris wanted that one back. Matt will have to settle him down. I told you Chris plays with total emotion. He never leaves anything in the store. Trying to empty his tank here. Second game. He wants to win the Nationals. You could say you're a national champion. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a play there by Chris. Handling the forehand. Staying alive. Wesley going with the backhands. Now Enrique, a soft forehand. Kisses the tape. Still gets over, though. You've got to stay focused on this soft game. Stay very focused. You know? And you got to show. Oh. oh, big error. Big error. Big it was error. Coming, it was coming to Wes's forehand. But you know, it's, it's, it's always very hard to be the other guy that's not dinking and to stand there and to stay in the point. It's really. The lefty with a nice backhand. Oh. Another error on Enrique. Yeah, see, they even not acknowledge the other nice side shots. They've all played together. They've all played against each other. They play for the sport. They play for the win. And Chris is the one we want to talk about, about what he did on that last, in the, in the, in the match over there. Side out earned. And we'll talk about that the next time out or break. Now some work to do. They dug themselves a little bit of a hole. They couldn't get out of the last service. Oh. And now goes Enrique's arrow will give him the serve, second serve ahead. When that step back shot's up, you can't touch him because he puts over spin. He's so good with the wrist action. Matt and Wesley are two of these young guns that are up and coming. I haven't been playing that long. Not yeah. enough on that shot, and you can sense, you Ooh, can see hurt. the frustration. That hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> it gives a point back to Wesley and Enrique. They're still on the second serve. It's still five close. seven. It's not over. This game only goes to eleven, but if it's a see, win for Matt and Chris, do you see how they they'll force it out a tiebreaker. The that takes a lot of finesse. Not enough on that one, though. Yep. Now yep. Wesley and Enrique within one. When somebody comes in and they hit it hard at them and they deaden it by bringing the paddle back to their body, that takes a lot of finesse. So you got to say, what got Enrique and Wesley here, they're going to go back to it. Stay steady. Cross like court passes. It looks like they've chose to be young, uh, or to work on Chris. That's oh. long. Great identification too. Yep. I think they're working on Chris. Seven six. And if you'll notice, the referee he calls the game on their speed. On their speed. 
As soon as they're ready, he calls that score. Watch, well, he's watching them both. See, now he looks at the receiver, make sure the receiver's ready, and goes. These guys like that kind of pace. They don't want to be sitting there waiting on the referee. Oh. Too long. See how, now there was a class act. That's two. The ball hit him in the air. Yeah. And he called it, see. We saw was that me. earlier, too. Yeah. In the, in the uh, so bronze medal match, a, a big mix-up with the serving, and that at the end of the day, yep. they gave what should have been a side out, a reserve, and a big part in the match. And instead, after all was said and done, they were about to do the reserve, That's and right. Chris decided, it's just, I'm going to send it deep and give it right back to them. He did, yep. It was a great moment. Everyone recognized it as oh, well. Of course it did. Oh, If you look at, look at, Not Enrique enough. is always underhand. He never, once in a while he'll do the sweep, but you'll notice he's more defensive. He stays defensive all the time. He lets the young guys. He gets just enough of, of a wrist flick on those quick ones to make sure it will come down a little sharper than it came out. Oh, Another big miss. Change the speed. He, he hooked Chris. He hooked him like, like a trout. <laughs> Just like a trout. Chris saw a big old fat a huge shot swing he here. Yeah. Ooh. They switch to the second serve. Okay. Smash far from over, like oh, you said. That's all, yeah. They want to get this 10th point. And they, they got it. And they got it. Because now they only need one. The other team needs five points. Because they got to win by two. So that tenth point was very, very important. It creates another opportunity where it creates a situation where they have to score an extra point. Does that make sense? You know? Here we go. Game point so in the point second right game. Really was strategically. Chris and Matt need this side out. Stay impatient with some small ball here. Enrique popped it up. Chris oh. tried to execute, and they forced the error long. But you understand why that 10th point was important. It's so now, huge, because now yeah. it really pushes the envelope for these guys. They have guys. to score five points instead of four. To get, they got to get to 12 to win. Okay. They call a timeout uh, before they get ready. Well, we got a timeout. Here we go. Big moment here for Chris and Matt. They got to get as much as they can here in this service. 7 10 1. They let that one go out. There's eight. Yep, but they still got some points to play with. These guys have to earn this game. Still on the first serve. Another high ball, and they're playing back. They're not crashing on the net. And it looks like Wes and Enrique are, are satisfied with just playing some volleys here. Great oh, execution. Did he? Yeah, that was. They were working their way up, but they worked as a team. One guy didn't run to the front line. They came up together. You Big to point in this second game here. Is. Can force it to go to 12 if you win this, but you still get the second serve, so there's not too much urgency. Great save on the short hop. Enrique with a smash. Not enough. See? Uh -huh. Second serve. Second serve. All right. Uh, so. These guys are working so hard half the time they don't even know if they're in the right court. That's why the referee's there. He's Plus these rallies last so long. That's correct. More patience. If Wes and Enrique win it, they get the side out and they're one point away from setting it to a third game. Otherwise, if Chris and Matt can manage this point, they'll force this game to go to 12. Yep. And no one's gonna make the mistake. No one's pushing the envelope. That one's long. Oh. I tell you, if he keeps hitting himself like that, he's going to go home black and blue tonight. Right but he's on that hip. <laughs> All right, here comes game two point again. One. Two to get one. It's their second game point. Okay. Oh, oh big error. Would have been out. 
Still alive. Yep. Second server made him now. Bite on it. He made him bite. Looking for that second break here to force like the side out. It's like I told you last match, that 11th point is always the hardest point to get. Finesse game right now. Oh, yeah. That step back move again, but he kept it soft. Let's it play. There he goes. Let's it fly. Not yeah. too far. Oh, second game. We're going to three. We're going to a third game, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, here in the men's open division of yeah. the gold medal match. We go to a third game. Stay with us. Yeah. National sixth on the way. crowd has new life here in Sun City Festival. Buckeye, Arizona, the site of National Six. Game three in the men's open division gold medal match. Here we go. Enrique and West, they start out the serve. If they win this final game, it's, it's over. over. They get the gold medal and the trophy. Whereas if it's Chris and Matt, it'll force a tiebreaker. Open things up with a fast pace and now slow things down just like that. We put the pedal to the metal and an error. The most emotion we've seen there from Wes and Enrique on yep. the opening That's points right. of this third game. Focused in now. Enrique's going to say to Wes, he's going to go, let's go now. <laughs> Keeping it next. simple. Enrique and then Wes, they, their guys used to this situation, and they call it out. Linesman calls it out. Well, you see A how little moment of confusion. No, it's the emotion of the players, they like to call you. Know, the referee's not going to listen to the players. He's going to listen to his line judge. But that's the emotion that's out there right now. The problem is it's a lot like, of players will want the call immediately, but the fact is you want to have that them take a second to make an impulsive right. wrong decision and really have an awkward moment on their hands. Well, linemen are just as important on this for these matches. Look at this. Gosh. Boom, boom, pop, pop, pop. Boom. Just pop, pop, slow it down, switch it back to semi-automatic. Oh, oh, too gosh. soft. One thing about the lineman, I always tell them, the in lineman, I say, don't stare at the line. Watch the ball to the line. Because if you're watching down the line, it comes out of your peripheral, and you blink, you miss it. Oh, oh touched Chris was off waiting. the edge. He was waiting. Oh. Right off the edge of the paddle. Big point there, ties things up. What a night, though, for pickleball. The wind has considerably died down than what it was oh, yes. at sunset. There's no wind. So all they can do now is just play pickleball. It's wonderful. The lights are in full effect tonight. Oh, Big yeah. air there, side out. Now the question is, do they breathe out when they hit that ding shot or do they suck the breath in? <laughs> <laughs> Watch them. Enrique with the service, all tied up. Big air, they go to the second. I think that one was a breathe in. I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> Took him a second to get the, to get the frustration out. Oh, oh back to back errors on the dings back brings nest. it back. But that shows you how close and how how tight they want it to the top of that net. Two different styles of play. Yes. Considering they're very similar, you know, types and what they're capable of. Oh, the recovery, not enough. Oh, you see it every single game. Those net shots are just all there. They're very precise playing. And again, you're playing on the real nets here. You're not playing on the temporary nope, nets. The temporary ones, the balls just go through the net. It's but almost like it's not even there. That's part of it. Look at this. What is it? Who's it going to be? Who's going to be the one to step up? And you could tell he, he was indecisive for a moment there. He got an elevated and, ball, and thought about the smash, and, and then just he changed from here to here. He goes, oh, no, so I stop. Yeah, you can see it. When you're down this close to the group, you can see it. Deuce is wild. Oh, there's a smash. Oh. Good winner. I think Chris wanted that one. 
really vented the frustrations into the pickleball after that last nope. error. That's how the last game started out, remember? 3-1-2, not enough. Too much backspin. You know, he's talking to the ball. The ball sometimes listens, sometimes it doesn't. But if you watch Matt, he doesn't say much. He just keeps himself quiet and he keeps within himself. But he's actually really complimenting Chris. Oh, a behind the back shot goes a little too far. <laughs> oh, that would have made it sports center top 10. That was a beauty. That would have brought the crowd to their feet. So nonchalant about it, too. Well, these guys got blood, ice in their blood veins. Error see, point goes down to regain that's less. The, that's what can happen on that step back. If you're too low below the net, it goes in. You know? It takes a lot to suddenly elevate it that far back. That's, it does. But he is a king of the step back. It's something that he's just really made a part of his game, and yep. he understands the difficulties that come with it. Too far. Yep. What, yeah. See, I think Wes has a real big confidence that he can take anything Chris can throw at him. Chris is a hard hitter. Oh, big winner for Enrique. They take the lead. Did you see that wingspan right there? Just huge. He's got. He can cover a lot of the court because he does not have to turn for that backhand. I mean this in the most kind-hearted okay. way, but Wes and Enrique definitely have the height advantage. What's that? The Wes and Enrique have the height advantage in this one. Oh, yeah. And obviously that translates to the wingspan. That's right. So they each play to their strengths. Not enough. This goes to the second server. Still tied at three. It is. It is. Trying to get this tie. Game three. Both teams with one game. Just oh. enough, kiss the net. And he was ready for the smash, a fist pump Did on the winner. he was clear out of the court when he hit that? He was ready. He stepped clear out of the court because he knew Wes was going to try and pop it. It was almost a trigger. If it got above his chest, he was bringing that paddle up and smashing. Yep. It's really taking the hand that you're dealt with and making sure that you can get the most out of it that you can. And they force the air and they take the lead right back. You do. It's back and forth. What a third game. This one goes to 11. Big error there and it stayed out just barely. Looked like it had enough backspin that it brought it back down. Thought, yeah, if they'd had that win we had in the first game, that would have fell right back in. So... Guy switching courts now in this third. Everyone but Wes goes back for water and a breather. Yep. They let him cross over to grab a quick drink and keep going. They can't stop. He's even got his Oregon Beaver socks on. <laughs> Guess where he's from. <laughs> I have a feeling it's Corvallis. Or he's at least spent a lot of time in Corvallis. Actually, he lives in the Portland area. Right. Oh, what a backhand there on the far sideline. They're still going. Big see, backhand winner for Wes. But that's he. You would have to there. Chris got out of shape. Did you see Matt come across, protect his partner? But he didn't come back fast enough. Wow, really so far. It's really been Chris taking the spotlight, but just because they've been playing it to him. Matt has had really more filling holes to do. Oh, yeah. He hasn't had much of a workload thus far. Nope. For They're good staying reason. away from him. They're staying away from him. It's the strategy. Oh, we should have let that one go. Yeah, but it was out. Side out. Here we go. Okay, it could make a run here. Six, four, one. This is a very critical part of the game. Ah. You can hear the emotion into it on every shot. These Gosh. forehands. Look at this, look at this. What a That's rally here. Now they slow things down again. Oh. 
Great discipline as well by Matt to let that one fly out. Oh, it is. But I mean, those, when they start coming at each other hard, that changes speed. But you can tell both of these teams, these are the best teams in the bracket, and they're, sh they're just giving it their all, as you would suspect. But still, it's, it's their best on every point. You see how Matt's protecting it? That's out. But you see, when Chris gets out of shape on there, all the way across the court, Matt's covering all the way to almost into his court, and he's saving his partner. And Matt's not afraid of using his backhand. They go yep. to the second serve now. That's right. But are they getting... They got a pretty good... They moved some space before. 8-4-2. Oh. And now 9. And Ricky would like to get that one back. Only a couple points away from forcing <laughs> another tiebreaker. See, here's that same situation. They want that 10th point. For that ever so elusive 11th point. Yep. And how about the alliteration on that for a moment before we move on? <laughs> ever so elusive 11th point. That's right. But they can't get it there. Yeah. Four, nine on the side out. Now you look at these guys, they're all got their paddles up. Wow, what a smack. But they're still, but that's it. He goes outside the court. He comes with that hard shot. And watch where Matt's at. He's got the court covered on the other side. The torque on these forehands so is they're working, unbelievable. They're working their partnership. See, look at Matt. He's almost over in his... Now, see? Not oh. enough. Side. Out. We may go to a 15 here. Comfortable gap for the moment, especially when you have the serve. Try to get this 10th point and end it. That's deep. Good take. He wanted to win it, didn't he? He wanted that 10th point. Second server now. Did you notice they all have respect for each other here? Just total respect. They know there's a reason these guys got this far, and they met again here on the championship. That's right. We mentioned it earlier. It was Enrique and Wes who sent Chris and Matt into the loser's bracket. That's right. Just stay patient. Who's going to be the one to yeah. have it snap? He switches with oh. the forehand. Enrique. He Enrique should have let, let that, that one, one go. go. And Chris recognized it and in oh. a moment's notice sends it down the far sideline. So it's 10 4 now. This team has to score an extra point. Nope. <laughs> Comedy moment there. Making sure he was correct, but he wasn't the server. Well, one of the problems is they always point or they don't. You have to ask the referee, am I in the right court and am I the server? Nice forehand oh, and they force the side out. Chris wants to win it on a swing. I know the emotions. He wants to get to that 15 game. Now a big chance and you gotta make up some ground here. Can't do that. They can't get them one at a time. Still have a chance here though. Wind's coming back up. The night's continuing to get cooler as well. Yes it is. We got two more championships. Soft touches again. Cross court passes back to Enrique. Chris. Enrique with an underhand. See, I think, to me, I think Matt is one of the better defensive players out there. I mean, he is. You know? He knows how to deaden that. Just trying to get this back one point at a time. They've been stuck at four for a while, so it's good to see them finally get something back on the board at five. They force oh. Chris to backpedal, and he can't correct itself quick enough. He's hitting into the wind, too. Wind's behind Enrique and Wesley. It's much less cross-court yes. as it was in the first. It's more really helping the guys on the right side. They've got to be careful. They think they've got a lot of points to work with, but all of a sudden, boom, these guys have scored four points on one serve. And now an odd moment there. We're going to replay the point. I'm trying to, This dragonfly has been...
bugging the referee. There it goes again. But he, he smacked the, this dragonfly or whatever this was with his clipboard and it came into play and, and these guys took a moment oh. and they're going to replay it. Yeah. That's not, that doesn't make Enrique happy. He'll live with it. Because they had earned the point. They had. It was an error. They hit it into the net. But the bugs come out. They're trying to find the light out here in the desert. So now they got to go back and get everybody placed. Yeah. It's still down here swirling around. Yeah, they're going to be swarming out here all night. So still 5-10 on the second serve. Pickleball, okay. don't lie. Nope. I like that. Now there that bug that the referee had smacked is on the court on the far wow. corner. There's going to be a bugs here all night because we got lights. Oh. Enrique got handcuffed yep, side out. Did. That was a great, great placement for, by Matt. Great placement. 10 7. Second game point to force a tiebreaker. Short hop recovery. Tough touch. Matt comes in. He's still oh. fighting here on the near court. Chris got tied oh. up, and it's going to go to the second serve, but a beautiful rally yep. between the two teams. That shows you the wheels on these guys. The and wheels and the motor that just the won't and the give body, up. And the body, to how to deaden that ball. Third game point. See, they're focusing so hard, they don't even know what the score is or if they're in the right court. Backhand between the legs. Matt comes in. Okay. That's too out. far out. Side out. Okay. Momentum is on the right side of the court right That's now. All they wanted was a side up. Seven, ten, one. They can suddenly force this to twelve in this service. This bug is really bugging around. Chris, no problem. He's trying to, and he decides to throw it out. <laughs> It's good to see a little break here. in the tension here yeah, as well. It's, it breaks to, the rhythm too, though. Trying to also kind of evaporates a little bit of the momentum. It does. All right, trying to fight off the game point that will come on the other end. Oh. Mm, he comes to the second serve okay. now. Okay. Okay. Oh man, back to back it, it, breaks it did, and a side it did, out. It did change the momentum. Momentum starting to get closer okay. to the middle. Fourth game point for Matt and Chris. Just enough. The speed is just unbelievable that they can react. It stays in. Oh, Trying to go behind a, the back again, but they the, can't. Game point. Tiebreaker. We're going to a tiebreaker for the second consecutive gold medal match. So we'll take a moment, stay with us. Tiebreaker on the way in the men's open division, National Six. Stay tuned. Hey Comcast subscribers, my name is Dominic Catronio, lead commentator for USA PA Pickleball. We're talking about the one of the fastest growing sports in the country. We're right here at National Six in Buckeye, Arizona. We also have the Tournament of Champions in Ogden, Utah. What is pickleball, you ask? Smaller version of tennis, one-third size courts, fast-paced, high energy, and you can play it as long as you want. Be sure to check out all of the great action here on Comcast Xfinity On Demand. That right there, guys, is pickleball. All right, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Men's Open gold medal match. It's going to go to a tiebreaker like we saw anything else coming. No, it was going to. At, when they get to the finals here at like this stage, anything can happen. Both teams are just playing to, the, uh, to their potential and their skill levels. And what you're seeing here is probably great, great pinnacle or uh, pickleball. What's going on is I'm watching, what's, what I'm seeing is, is Matt is a very complimentary to Chris. He protects Chris. Chris, Chris gets wide <laughs> to do a step back, and Matt is there when they come back to goal. He's only got caught a couple times on the outside, so go ahead. And Wes here switches shirts, goes with the red Valenti. 
Yeah, it's Valenti's from uh, Rochester, New York. But anyway, these guys, this is going to be a dog eat dog. Here we go. We go to 15. This is for the gold medal. We'll switch at eight. Okay, first point goes right. to Wes and let's Enrique. See let's see. What, let's see what they got in the gas tank. This is where all the endurance training. Great smash down the sideline. Didn't it hit him in the foot? So Didn't. that was in by a foot. I see what you did there. <laughs> Very punny. <laughs> We move along here on the side out. Short hop handled by Wes. Enrique let it go and just barely was out. Great recognition by the experienced vet. Yep. He's been in these finals three or five times. I think three or four times or five times. He was the singles champion last year. He was. Gets just enough of the tape and... A bit a little of a delay on his hit. He yeah. isn't hitting it as soon as it comes across the net. So. Nobody's out of it. 15 points is a lot of points. It's a whole different mindset than the 11 just because I mean, when you switch at 8, you don't even have to hit the emergency button at that point. You can just keep plugging along. and That's right. We saw what Enrique and, and Wes did in that last game. They were down 10-6, and they managed to make it real interesting. What I need to, what I, we need, okay, just as soon as this point's over. Backhand, Enrique handled it. The smash, not nope. going to have nope. enough. Well, Backspin in the years, wind fighting that. Last year's That's champions, that. Matt's from Florida. There's a couple of the ladies from Florida. They're really coming back here. They're showing it. They've got great skill levels. Oh, and it caught Enrique as he tried to get out of the way. She's, yeah, he's thinking, I'm not as fast as I used to be. Oh. <laughs> He'd take exception to that if you were out there on the court with him. No, I know. No, he wouldn't. He's not. <laughs> but he is always around at the end of any tournament, no matter who his partner is. Great forehand from Chris Wesley over to the cross pass. They form an X and they'll start it back over. Caught the tape, popped high. Here we go. Survival of the fittest. Yeah. The wind goes to Enrique. He had, he had Chris running back on his heels. As soon as he had him back on his heels, it's very hard to pop that ball up. And Enrique being the master of positioning and, and putting the ball where he wants it. Crowd recognizing the great moments here and big winner there. Yeah, and forces notice, the second. If you'll notice sitting here, those balls were way too high more than normal. You don't let mistakes like that pass in the you gold medal match. Yeah, nope. But I mean back on the crowd here, it's a solid crowd for how late it is from where we started. And a lot of them starting to bundle up, side out. Yep. What? See a lot of sweaters and blankets out right now. I'm going to get a new ball. Get that ball off the court. Yeah. Yeah. It's not see, often you see that. Did I call it? Oh, not too often. That's one way to get rid of one. That's right. They don't want it rolling around the court. Backhanded spinner. Enrique let one high. Oh. Error and a point. Okay. They're on the board. I think you're going to see Seesaw battle this whole game. Patience there by Chris. Re <laughs> readjusting his footing. Back to back points. Still going here. That one's out. Well, Chris is readjusting his footing. He's trying to get himself around it to play just with his forehand. And these guys are smart enough to keep working to the backside of him. And that's why you see those where he gets caught once in a while. Looking for the tie early on here in the tiebreaker. First one to 15 gets the gold medal. 
What a save by Chris, but now it opens up the far oh. side. So you saw, there you saw the old crafty, the craftiness of Enrique. He got them both going wide, going both going wide, and he put it right over there on the line. And that darn near took down the entire chain link fence as he collided into it. Oh, a lot of spin on that one, and Enrique oh, couldn't did. recover. He couldn't recover. That made him reach. Made him reach. 2-1-2. Two, two. Two, two. They really need this side out. Playing it deep off the baseline. They're still trying to get Wes back there. He's now up. they touch he's it up, up for the He's up. He's up. These guys get up in a hurry. Oh, catches, catches Wes's his shoulder. He thought he was going to come hard. Side out, comes back here to Matt and one, Chris. Two, one. They're keeping him back. Nope. Not enough. A little too cute. Yep. They were keeping him back. They were keeping him back. But I noticed Chris and Matt stay together as a team. You know what? You have to work as a team. Back-to-back -back errors, side out, comes back to Wes and Enrique. Okay. Did she call it out? Enrique backed up and he called it himself. I know, but the line judge over here is, is the referee's wife. Oh. <laughs> A little quieter. It's got to be loud. These guys want to hear it. Most of the time when you're loud, it convinces wow. people just like off the paddle there. Going down to their feet, and those guys are raising it by the third shot. He's got them because they're not all the way up. Starting to build a it's little lead hard. here. 4 one, one You can hear that communication, too, between Wes and Enrique. Oh, they I go, have. I go. Oh, it came back in with the spin and the win. They play on Enrique the Smash winner. Wow. That right there, guys, is pickleball. That was pickleball. Spun it back in from the outside of the pickleball. net, all the way back on the best line. And yeah. Chris and Matt will charge themselves a timeout. Well, you got a rhythm going here. You know, they're clicking. We'll take a timeout. But with again, the momentum, you're going to see. Watch what happens after the timeout. You will see momentum. Either one team or the other get a little bit more momentum. Timeouts do that, you know? We'll take a break as well. So stay with you us here. It. National 6 Men's Open Division Gold Medal Match. Stay with us. Five one one is the score after the timeout. We'll see where the momentum goes. Enrique and Wes against Matt and Chris in this tiebreaker, oh. and it stays here with Wes and Enrique. Six one one. Look at the looks on the faces. We are focused up, guys. They haven't cracked a smile in a long time, just because not because they're not having fun, but because, because they're that into it. Well, oh, that was a bad unforced error. They're and, getting a little separation now. And Enrique narrowly raised the paddle, but brought it down fast enough. Wes and Enrique have hit a new gear. Catches the tape. Enrique keeps it alive. Oh, and big oh. error. Two errors and one there, they, really. And now, Matt could have let that go. Would have been out. But now, now eight, switch sides. one, and still one on the serve. Eight, one, one. So... He's going good. The girls are over there patiently waiting, aren't they? Are they now, and it's such a break like this. I mean, they haven't played now in almost two hours. I know. At what point yeah. do you make sure you warm your body up and not tie well, yourself warm. out? Yeah, but they're just warming up. Keep warm. Oh, at this level, when you're playing for the golds, you don't take long to warm up. But at least they're rested and they're not fatigued. And they now that the temperature has cooled down That's as well. Right. you got plenty of time to rehydrate. The body can yeah. agree with whatever's going in. Here we go, big moments of this tiebreaker. 8-1-1. One, one. They need to force a couple of breaks here. Oh. There's the first. 
Oh, he wanted that one back because they're changing speeds. I know what. They haven't been beating him with the speed game, but when they slow things down and then try to change the pace, it's really been working out. Second serve. A soft rally here, and oh. just Chris got a little ahead of himself there. Really, really wanted to put it away and give him the side That's out. It's not a good time to do it, though. 9 1. Oh. Hello. Oh, great serve from Enrique. Switches hands with the left. Now he goes with the right forehand underhand. The skill to do that, and he switches hands on a moment's notice there. Back to the right. Guy, he changes them so fast. Great battle here. Catches oh. the tape. They play on. Backhand. Oh, Enrique oh. touches up and it allows the side out. That's happened to Enrico about four times this, for this match. Big side out. They don't like to make those kind of mistakes. They get mad at themselves. This, you really need points on this service. Yes, they do. They need to make two or three or four points. You don't need to make it all up, but just nope. need to get a couple. Prove that you can. But they cannot go out. Enrique was ready for the forehand. Forces the Did air. Did you see how he waited on the patience? And he just kept it going at his feet. It seems like that's all he's really aiming for. That's what he was doing. Oh, man, back-to-back -back breaks. Boy, that's about four or five unforced errors that they normally haven't made. So they didn't make a point on that. That hurts. West calls off Enrique. Sends in the forehand. There's a smash. They just keep it alive. Force Chris to backpedal, trying to split them. They couldn't. Another big backhand, the lefty really getting his work on the top spinners. Enrique, there's a lot of space out there. Oh, goes with the soft touch. Chris crashes in. Oh, this is a beauty, folks. Goes long, it's out. But what a rally. Both sides had their moments. I'm speechless. That, guys, ladies and gentlemen, if you watch that point, that's pickleball. That was pickleball. Everything was fought for. Getting closer. 10 1 1. Not enough oh. on the backhand. You got a second serve, though. These guys just want to side out. They got to get, get out back out on only the allowing one point. That, that would be great. Yeah, they need to get it. He stays low, way up high. Chris with the smash. Enrique saves, but it goes wide right. Side out. He's probably saying a few words to himself. It's not a lot work. of work to do. They do. Here we go. Nice roll there by Enrique. Chris using finesse on that as well. Bluffs like he's gonna smash. Instead, he just a soft oh, tip. Goes. Now they're getting it airborne. Good Switch. short hop handle by West. Did you see how quick they changed the speed? Hits the tape but stays alive. Did it stay in? It doesn't. It's out. Okay. Second, second serve. serve. They need to get a point here. They just need to. Otherwise, I'll be back to back points when they're down by nine. Or back to back service chances, rather. They, they can't get a point. They need something. They really Here's a smash the chance oh, for Enrique. Uses the right side and he forces that did you one see to go him long. Use his left hand for that. Yeah, switch. Yeah, he switched. See, that's it's very hard when a guy doesn't turn for his backhand. They come so back over here. What he's gonna do? Each of these players has something that is just Matt and Wesley. You just can't hit it through them. Now they're in a cross court. Passing now goes back to Enrique and Chris kisses the tape but gets over. Enrique pretty much used all the sideline allowed on that last one, oh. and there Chris earns the first break. Yeah, he changed the he changed the speed. That's been their specialty <laughs> all night, and there have been times that they've worked away from it. But if you're not standing out there and playing that, you don't understand what that setup is. 
He catches the line all the way on the baseline. Now this one kisses the sideline. They're using all of the court. You see what happens when they get them guys backing up? They are so defensive, they go on their heels. So they're not leaning into the ball. And they still don't allow high balls. Yeah. They keep things low at the feet. 11-1. Yep. They are in the driver's seat and they get the side out. <laughs> Humorous <laughs> moment there, Wes <laughs> calling out to Chris. Hit it to one side or the other. Don't tie us up like this. <laughs> A little bit looser. They've got some good separation, so they're... Now you absolutely need points in this service. Otherwise, you, you're there's gonna no see reason Chris to believe otherwise. Now with this kind of a separation, Chris and Matt are going to press a little bit more. You know what? They can't afford to make mistakes, see? So they're going to press. They're going to go with high percentage shots. What a winner by Enrique. Yes, got him leaning into the middle. That's the first break. Now they go to the second serve. You're playing against... Uh, they didn't have a chance. The ball came up. <laughs> Chris goes all the way up for a dunk on the on the uh, side. Would you oh. say that's a little frustration? Well, you can't break his paddle, so... Yeah. Don't lose your cool. Don't lose your concentration. You it's not over. But that's never three over. straight services that they've been stuck at one. That's right. And these guys have been at 11 for a while. We're a little low in the, in the point scoring. I know you won't think it, but it could be fatigue at this point. No, they, it just... Uh, they called out. Very close, but that's about as I much... I see that one. That's about as close as you can be to being out. Game of inches. 1-11-1. One, one. The single is wild. Wes, a little extra on that backhand. Still moving. Enrique keeps one low with the underhand. Chris comes it in. Gets the point. I think Chris I think Chris wanted that one. I what made you think that? I don't know. But if I go back to the beginning, he plays with more emotion than anybody out there. And he never holds it in. They finally get off that one spot. Two eleven one. The adjustments off this tape have been unbelievable. Oh, and then to recognize the ball that's going out. That's that quick hand speed. Okay. Momentum is just starting to going. shy its way back over here on the left side of the court. Before every serve, Matt and Chris, they come together. Tiebreaker, we go to 15. They're playing catch. Oh, man, the speed is unbelievable, and it was in. So they're coming back. Time out for okay. Enrique and Wes. We'll take a breather as well. What a tiebreaker. Fasten your seatbelt, folks. This one's far from over. Stay with us on National 6. Timeout over a huge point there on the far sideline that went out. Chris and Matt trying to claw their way back into this. Far from over. 4 11 1. They got to keep it up. And Wes and Enrique have to stop them. They got to keep the momentum down. There it is, another point. They've, another come, point. they've done five straight points, or four straight points. Just taking each step one at a time. Remember, you don't have to make up all the ground here. 
Yeah. A gift from the tape. <laughs> the passion, you can hear it. Yeah. Almost <laughs> well. Chris couldn't get to it, so <laughs> yell at your partner. Almost like a football coach, you know. Yeah. Go, back on the line. <laughs> Nice keep in. They play on. Enrique had to go high. They, that one probably would have gone out, but they play on. And they catch Chris in the lower midsection. You know, there was class. I saw something there. In the old days, Chris would have hit that as hard as he could because he was frustrated. So he's, he's really matured. I'm really impressed tonight. Oh. Another point. Did you see Enrique coming in? He ran into that and then just softly went to the to the left shoulder. They can't afford to give up points now. Now every point just feels insurmountable. Staying high. That's long. Wow, wow, the discipline. That was. He wanted to hit it. Because remember, when you hit all them hard shots, it's fun. <laughs> It's fun to get those smashes it high. Is, it is. They're getting closer, though. Just as we saw in the men's senior open, uh, one the ones point. who come from the winner's bracket, one despite allowing the tiebreaker, they still manage to win it. Championship point. We can't lean back on these chairs. We're losing people in the crowds. Okay, here we go. Championship point. This is the first one. Also okay, still on the first serve. They move forward. That one's okay. long. They go to the second. Second championship point with the second server now. Second championship point. Here we go. Oh, Chris serves with the right and switches back to the, the left. Back. Let's get there it match. is. Gold medal. Enrique oh. and Wes, the winners of the men's open division. What a battle. 15-5 oh final. You go get it. Congratulations to the winner. We'll take a moment and get an interview with Enrique and Wesley right after this. Hey Comcast subscribers, my name is Dominic Catronio, lead commentator for USAPA Pickleball. We're talking about the one of the fastest growing sports in the country. We're right here at National 6 in Buckeye, Arizona. We also have the Tournament of Champions in Ogden, Utah. What is pickleball, you ask? Smaller version of tennis, one-third size courts, fast-paced, high energy, and you can play it as long as you want. Be sure to check out all of the great action here on Comcast Xfinity On Demand. That right there, guys, is pickleball. Here with the winners of the men's open division tonight in the doubles format, guys. First of all, congratulations, Enrique and Wesley, our winners tonight. A, a big second game win. It really kind of changed things going here, considering you're coming from the winners bracket, avoided the tiebreaker earlier, and then it still eventually got into the tiebreaker. What do you guys have to say about the match overall, considering it was a very back and forth seesaw affair? Well, you know, what can you say? They're great players, tough. Everybody here is so tough. Uh, and one of the biggest things was trying to stay mentally in the match, having to sit out and wait a long time for the match to start. So that, that was one of the toughest things to, you know, to stay mentally focused. But uh, once we started, once we started going, we were, we were clicking pretty good. And, uh, you know, credit to them as well. Uh, two great players. So. Tough, tough. Yeah, and it's tough. I think they played really well, especially that first match. We had played them earlier in the day, and they had missed a few more shots, and it's really hard when you have to change strategies mid-match, which we did a few times, yeah. and we just knew that going into that last game, you know, it was time to, to bear down and, and get after it, and we did. Now changing strategies, you mentioned how you faced them earlier in the day. How much of the strategies changed between those two matches as you headed into the gold medal match here? Well, I think that they positioned themselves in a different uh, way in this match. They had Matt on the right. I think Matt was on the left the right. first time. Yeah. And so we had to adjust who we hit to. And uh, he suggested the adjustment and it worked for us. You know, and another thing, another thing that worked for us to answer that question further, um, you know, when you play great players such as them, 
it's about making adjustments and you know they were taking turns on on who was playing hot and we were trying to recognize that and whenever one of them got hot we would switch and try to mix it up and go to the other guy and uh, lucky for us it worked to our advantage but uh, you know it was tough because they were both, they were both taking turns playing really well and it was it was hard to recognize okay who do we go because they were both so consistent now before we let you guys loose and go get your hardware Enrique Ruiz, Wesley Gabrielson, national champions. How does that feel? Sweet. <laughs> Short and sweet. Excellent. We uh, got the win for Oregon, both yes. from Oregon. So yes. it's pretty special for us and for our group that's here. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, you know, uh, people from all over the place here. And uh, there's a medium-sized group from Oregon representing. And for us to be here, that, like he said, so we did it for for our team and, and for, for Oregon, so feels great. From Oregon to Arizona down here, they're national champions in the men's doubles division. Gentlemen, congratulations. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. That does it for us over here. Now let's send it back over for their hardware. Yeah, buddy. Good job. Well played.